Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy the Dragon. Misty Bog is up next, and we're just gonna jump in now. This level actually sucks, because the enemies can be very well placed, and you could easily lose a couple lives here. Oh boy, hopefully that will not be the case for us. I may end up losing one, but whatever. So let's start off with a very interesting scene with this little chicken. And right there, you see that guy catch a chicken, and... Hello! Get destroyed, buddy. You can torch that to uh, recover. And right here, there's two blues for ten. We have 500 treasure and four dragons to find, so we got a lot to do within one episode. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. So anyway, with that done, go ahead and glide down here and you've got these plants. Your main goal is to just get them close and let them charge at you. Burn them when they do. Like so. Otherwise, you get to watch them try to chew at you and fail miserably. You yeah, just kind of go at them one at a time so you don't get screwed up. Because this is this level is easy to just have two enemies gang up at you and quickly take you down. So when you're all done there, go ahead and glide to this point. Hit this life chest for an extra life. And there's three chests here for 12 treasure. Next, we have these frogs. And these frogs are definitely annoying. I'm going to take that one out, grab a couple chests, I'm going to keep charging around to try to avoid these frogs, and they're tough. Torch that one, torch, and I got hit. You jerk. Alright, so let's grab the remaining stuff before we deal with those plants again, to which there are two windmills. Both of which have a five, and that's it. Is there anything back there? It looks like there is. And the answer is, yes there is, another chest for 5, and another life chest for 22 lives total now. Not too shabby. Alright, so now that that's done, now I gotta deal with these stupid plants again. Torch that one, I'm gonna torch this one next, then come to you and burn you as well. Because you suck. Grab the remaining treasure, and finally we face the first of 4 dragons in the form of Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. <laughs> uh, that's a weird one. Anyway, um, so there's two things we can do right now. The first thing is to go deal with that boar and the, uh, the hunter that's being chased. Let's go ahead and cover that, because this is quick. Go back, torch you, and take you out. Easy stuff. I'd take the boar out first because that sucker is annoying. Anyway, when you're done there, go ahead and jump, glide back onto this stump, get back up, and you're good to go. Next thing you want to do is glide over here, and there's five of those guys. Let's take them all out. And I think I missed one. There's a sixth one right there, and yep, I did miss one. Darn it, so much for a combo. Grab those chests take this guy out, and we're gonna wait before I go into that stump that that fairy was pointing at the down arrow at. We're gonna glide over here, watch a mini scene of- oh crap. Basically we do the same thing, take you out, and torch you, so I get sparks back. Oh boy, this sucks. So next thing we need to do is go up here, and climb these stumps, and we got three frogs awaiting us. This stinks. Try to glide on the side. This way they can eventually, uh... We need to take them out quickly. So torch one, you can take out a second one, and torch the third one. Do it in quick succession, you won't get hit. No problem. Next thing, next up we got a pain in the neck. Grab these chests and... Hang on, I need to show. That's a lot of enemies. And a lot of frogs. Unfortunately, you can't hit the hunters because they got metal armor, but if you're quick enough, you can take care of the frogs without much issue. And in my case, I'm definitely torching one, backing out, and just kind of doing this scenario. Take you out. Let's, uh, back it. Oh, shoot. I see you coming. Okay, I've lost sparks, so I gotta be even more careful now. But, it shouldn't be that tough. Torch, get back. And I think I can just double strike them and just bail out, like so. I'll turn back and fly, because they're not coming after me, which is good. And then kind of do the same thing with the final frog. 
take you out, and I can take you out, and that's kind of how you do it. Yeah, quite a bit to do, like, right in that vicinity, but we get our second dragon, Damon, for our efforts. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why? I remember... Uh, gotta go! Good lord, how much time has... How much time has passed since Nor crystallized all the dragons? I didn't think it was that long. Anyway, climb up here and you got a line of treasure that come across this side. This is actually how you get back to the main area. So get across here, jump, and glide. No problem. I guess my main problem now is how to get sparks back, because this could suck. Anywho, um, let's go ahead and fly back to those original stumps, where there's nine treasure, three on each one, and the fairy guiding you that you need to go down that direction. Unfortunately, this could be a pain in the neck, because I have to do all the treasure manually because sparks disappeared. And what's worse is, we're nowhere close to done yet. This is only the first part of the swamp. Get down here, and here we go again with these enemies. First things first, I'm taking you out, and then there's these chests to deal with. Strike that for a 5, get these for 10, and the last one here, I think is another... Nope, two, I thought it was another 5. Next thing I'm going to do is torch these guys quickly. This way they are out of the picture without problem. And then I can charge you, which I just completely failed. <laughs> ah, I am bad at this. There we go. Alright, with all that done, there's dragon number three right there, in the form of Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. That covers that. Now we got all this crap to deal with, and there's a boar behind us. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Alright, let the boar come at you. Torch it first. Then quickly take that first frog out. I'll take you out quickly as well, before you even get a shot at him. And that will take care of that section. There's still a few more boars to deal with, so be very careful. And here comes one now. Get out and... Well, took out that frog without issue, so thank you, boar, for being stupid and taking out your enemies. Uh, allies, I should say. Derp. Anyway, there's a hunter right there. Take him out. And one more boar charge. Do it with another hunter snipe, because why not? And I guess we can kind of do the same thing here. Maybe. Yep, exactly how you planned it. Uh, saves me all the trouble of dealing with all that crap. All because I don't have sparks. Alright, so with all that done... Um... Hmm. What else is here? Well, there's two chests here. Or, or just... I'm trying to get everything before I reach that top platform, because that's the next thing we need to do. And, uh, there's a ten gem right there. Next up, we gotta climb up, and there's the fourth and final dragon of Misty Bog, Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. Yeah, but stamping on enemies would be fun! If we were Godzilla, maybe. <laughs> oh crap, apparently I missed those two chests. Let's take them and grab four. And, uh, yeah, we're at 397. So the remaining 103 is, uh, not that tough to get. So grab everything there, grab those metal chests and whatnot. We need to get up there, and as you can see, there's a stairway. So what do you do? Jump and glide onto this wall, then jump and glide onto this bottom platform. Get up here. Well, you could hit that second one, but it's... Knowing my luck, I'd probably clip it and just fall into the water. So anyway, grab all the treasure here, which there's quite a bit to grab this time around. And that's all done. There's still one little bit to do, and there we go. Now that that's all done, there's also this little spot with the uh, stump passageway. Jump and glide onto that first stump. Ah, damn it! Well, I guess we're this far. I might as well just take that second life lost. 
And see, this was exactly why I took the bottom step, because knowing my luck, I'd have just fell into the water anyway. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try it again with some feeling and not be stupid. Well, it's not even the fact that I was stupid. It's just there were no freaking, uh, there were no animals to revive sparks. And there we go again with that crap. The same thing I did. When you get up here, just jump and glide up. And there's some treasure here. As well as a few more of those, uh, hunters. Which I'm just not, uh, man, that was terrible. I can turn this camera around and get the remaining two, and there we go. Good lord. Anyway, climb back up here, and there's three windmills and three chests. And that should do it. 500? Yep, 500 of 500, all four dragons, and I ended up losing my second life in the first since Dr. Shemp of all places. Whoops. Get down, return home, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, Misty Bog can be a really sucky level, so have fun with this one. Alright, first things first, is the, uh, well, the boar's gone, that's a good sign. It's just take you out and uh, well the next level we need to go to is the treetops level which is actually a pretty fun level and uh, with that all said there's the gate right there and I'm gonna just call it a video right here thanks for watching and I'll see you next time